All right, so the other day I bought myself a newer laptop, right? A little Toshiba um, M305. Out of the box, everything works. My wireless drivers, my video card, you know, it all works just fine. The only thing that doesn't really work for me is the click and drag, I guess, when you uh, grab a window and you move it around with your touchpad. Um, the mouse cursor releases too early, you know what I mean? And there is a way of getting around this by installing the, uh, the G pointing devices, right? And this didn't work under Unity, and it only worked under one session under GNOME Shell, right? And then the settings will just go away. So I don't know what's going on with that. I tried some workarounds for that, and it didn't work for me. The only other workaround I, that actually got working for me was uh, by installing a package. So let me just show you for a second. All right, here it is. All right, you have to install this, this uh, X input, right? So let's open up another terminal, like so. Install that. And this will allow you to give you some control over your input you know, devices, your, I guess your mouse or your touchpad, right? So in order for me to control my, my touchpad, I have to find the ID number to it, right? So that's where this comes in, this command, input list, X input list. Like so, and here's my Synaptics touchpad. ID equals 11. So for you, it might be ID equals uh, 8 or 9 or whatever, but for me, it's 11. So all I need is a number. And for the second command, as you can see, there's a hash mark. That's where my ID number is going to go in. So for you, put your, your ID number. So for me, it's 11, right? So when I run this next command with my ID number, what it's going to do, it's going to give me a listing of my, I guess, initial like tap and my release. So I'm going to have two IDs for that, the tap release and the, and the uh, I guess, release release or whatever you want to call it. All right, so there we go. So synaptics, lock drags, right? The first one is 290, which is the, the grav, I guess. And 291 right here, I don't know if you can see that or not, is the release, so when actually the hand releases, right? Oops. So anyways, so by getting those two ID numbers, you add a time setting. See how it says one and 350? Mine's already preset, so that's why it's there, All right? So you got to, so for you, put a one, then put, you know, 400 or maybe 250, depending on how long you want the hand to be holding onto the, to the window, All right? So this little first little hash mark right here, Right, it's gonna be my ID, which is 11. Right. The second hash is my, I guess, grab ID, right? 290. So yours will be different. So mine's 290. All right. So the second one down here, right? The timeout setting. All right, my ID is gonna be 11. And the release is gonna be 291. Two, nine, one. All right. So I already have this set to one, right? Leave that at one. And right here, this is where you set your your uh, timing. You can put it at four hundred, like I said, or maybe two fifty, or whatever. That, however long you want your your cursor to be holding onto the window. All right. So now we got all our all of our input, you know, set. Go ahead and copy this first line, which is the grav. Go to your startup applications. right here all right click add uh, I guess put like you know X input you know I put X1 you know paste that you know click add then right here the bottom one the release copy that click add I guess I put X2 or whatever paste and add that and now when you log in or log out, whatever, your, your settings will be there when you start up, right? So now you'll be able to click and drag your windows, you know, fairly easily. So anyways, that's how I got around it. I'll put the, uh, you know, the instructions in the, in the description down below along with the, uh, the form where I found it at. So anyways, that's it for today. And hopefully I make some more videos soon. I've been really busy. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.